Hi! Welcome to All Hands on Deck Signing. My name is Katie and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are discussing the words, the vocabulary that you need um, to use when you're baking bread. So there's a lot of different things that we have. Um, we'll start with just the basics. You're going to need a bowl. The technical term is mixing um, bowl or mixing bowl. It's up to you how best shows what you're doing with that specific activity in that specific bowl at that specific time. Um, you have one of the you know big basic ingredients in the kitchen is salt. Salt. You also have sugar. Sometimes um, to differentiate of being sweet, oh, you're so sweet, I love you, compared to the ingredient, sugar, you, you might use sugar, sugar, to show that it's what you're using to add in to whatever you're doing. You also have um, flour or flour. It looks exactly like when you take flour and you add it to whatever you're baking with. Poof. This is the same um, sign as your normal white sugar, but this is brown sugar. Very important is yeast. Now there's not a specific sign for yeast, so we just fingerspell it. This specifically is instant yeast, so it's not a long time waiting for um, the yeast to process. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Water. to bring them out of the refrigerator. And speaking of the refrigerator, this is a refrigerator that's a freezer or freezer. Typically, you use both hands for signing refrigerator and freezer. Um, or it might be a freezer. It's up to you, again. You might need to add some different kinds of um, liquids, like the oil or the water we discussed, and you need a way to measure that. So we typically use um, a measuring cup or a measuring cup. A lot of people use some technology in the kitchen, so not everything is made by hand. So that can take a lot of work, but there is an easier way to do some of that sometimes if you choose, 
and that's using an electric mixer. An electric um, mixer. You have a rolling pin. Smaller measuring cups. Now, obviously, there's a difference. We have um, a larger measuring cup for measuring um, things in big quantities, you know, a cup or more than that. Sometimes you need more than just one cup. Um, so you might use a big measuring cup for like eight cups. And you can't forget about the small cups. Not everything you measure is a full cup. So this is a full cup. Give it a half, a third, and a fourth. The signs for that are simple. You just use, same as when you're looking at a fraction, you're using the big number, the one at the top, and the number that it's divided by at the bottom. So one fourth, one third, one half. Um, and for smaller things, you use measuring spoons. You have one tablespoon. So that's a table, like TB spoon, um, TBSP, or a teaspoon is TSP. an eighth teaspoon, and so on and so forth. So we have different things to use to mix. You have a wooden spoon. That is good for mixing um, dough or heavy things. This is a spatula. I typically use a flat B hand shape for that because you're scraping the bowl. This is good for light things like um, a cake batter or something that's a little bit more liquidy. You have a um, like a cutting board, um, a cutting board. Uh, you do not only use that for um, cutting things but also for um, kneading like uh, bread dough or uh, rolling out cookies, um, a lot of things. We have um, paper towels for quickly, you know, cleaning up uh, messes, etc. For bigger messes, um, or for the final clean, um, you typically use a sponge or a sponge. And that can be used for um, cleaning bowls, 
uh, utensils, or even for cleaning the counters. And um, so this is a, a counter. Oh, I forgot. Sometimes you use vegetable oil, sometimes you might use butter, maybe both, depending on what you're making. Um, so this is a butter dish. That's butter. Butter. And that's a specific knife for butter, so it's a, a butter knife. Now there's a few different things you might use for uh, cooking what you're um, baking or um, whatever. You can't have bread without the heating process. So for that, we use um, the oven. The oven, or you might use um, the, the stove. Um, and we have a hand towel for, you know, getting whatever is on your hands off. So it's more thick, more comfortable compared to a dish towel that's more thin. You can use it uh, for drying dishes. Being thin makes it easy for getting it into small places as well as it dries fast. And last, a lot of people use recipes to follow the directions on how to make whatever they're baking or um, cooking. It's easy, you can remember what steps to do, the processes, what things you need to get for making it. Um, so for example, this recipe is for cinnamon rolls. So it tells me what's the ingredients I need to collect before I bake. Yeast, warm water, sugar, etc. What I need after the dough rises. So sometimes there's several different steps in um, a process and how to do it, the direction. So in a big mixing bowl, add your yeast to warm water. So it, it steps out exactly what you need to do and how to do it and when to do it. Because if you add something before you need to, then obviously that's not gonna work. So that's most of the words you will typically need when you are baking or cooking. Um, uh, you might have noticed me use a few words differently. Like, um, cooking, baking, sometimes you'll do baking, like you're cooked it and you put it in the oven. There's a lot of words that have variations. So you just need to find what works best for you and your family and your situation. Sometimes it might be using several. See you later. Hey. Thanks again for joining me today in my kitchen with All Hands on Deck signing. Don't forget if you liked this video and want to see more to like and subscribe. I will see you later. Bye!